when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam related this story unto the people of Mecca about Dhul Qarnayn, evidently they were astonished. A man, a leader, giving authority, speaking authoritatively by the permission of Allah when he was given two options, either to punish or forgive, either to punish or be kind. He took both options and he said, Amma man zalam, as for whoever wrongs himself by committing shirk, disobeying Almighty and worshiping other than Allah and having no tawheed, not singling Almighty in worship and not recognizing his creator and worshiping other than his creator and bowing down to somebody else and not being submissive to Almighty and also being a Muslim by accepting the fact that his creator is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Amma man zalama As for he or whoever wrongs himself Fasawfa nu'adhibu We will assuredly punish him Whether him or her Whoever wrongs himself Fasawfa nu'adhibu Whoever wrongs himself by committing shirk Worshipping other than Allah Because a zulm in Quran comes with the meaning of a shirk Associating partners with Allah يَا بُنَيَّا لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ لُقُمَانُ الْحَكِيمُ When he advised his son, he said, O oh son, لا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Associate not partners with Allah. Do not ascribe partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for indeed a shirk. Associating partners with Allah or worshipping other than Allah لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ is the most magnificent or the most greatest injustice. So when he, meaning Dhul Qarnayn, said here, Amma man zalama, he's referring to shirk, according to the best interpretation. Whosoever worship other than Allah, فَسَوْفَ نُعَذِّبُ We will, of a surety, punish him. ثُمَّ يُرَدُّ إِلَى رَبِّهِ And when he is returned back to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will add more punishment upon the punishment that he received on this earth by us. This is to indicate that this skin was pure muwahid upon creed of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. 